In Season 23, snipers are going to receive a 15% damage buff inside of PvE, and seeing as snipers have a safe playstyle, they should become a great option for higher end content, right? Well, no. See, it's no secret that for a while now, snipers haven't been worth using, and I don't think a 15% damage buff will be enough to see their usage rate go up. The main issue plaguing snipers is that they're outclassed by linear fusion rifles in every way possible. Let's first start off with how much damage you deal. But before we get into that, a quick disclaimer that all damage testing was done in a Grandmaster Nightfall on a Barrier Champion with a Bite of the Fox Sniper, and there's no difference in how much damage you deal to a Barrier Champion regardless of if the Champion is stunned or not. So so currently, in the live game you deal 17,072 damage when landing a precision shot with Bite of the Fox, a kinetic aggressive frame sniper, and with the precision frame linear fusion rifle you deal 21,196 damage. Aggressive frame snipers deal the most damage due to their archetype, and kinetic weapons in general deal more damage to unshielded targets, 15% more damage specifically for special ammo weapons. This is the reason why I'm using Fight of the Fox for damage testing. The precision damage of a kinetic aggressive frame sniper increases to 18,399 when adding a major mod to the weapon. This provides a 7.8% increase in damage against majors or orange bar enemies, and champions count as majors. Firing line is by far the best perk for snipers, which provides an extra 20% to precision damage when standing near two or more allies. And when stacking firing line and a major mod, your precision damage increases to 22,078, give or take due to destiny rounding. After the 15% buff in season 23, a kinetic aggressive frame sniper will deal roughly 19,632 precision damage at base, 21,164 with a major mod, and 25,396 with both a major mod and and firing line active. The problem with snipers is that they just don't hold a lot of ammo, and it could just be me but it seems like special ammo just doesn't drop as frequently when you have a sniper equipped either. The most ammo you can hold at one time with a kinetic aggressive frame sniper is 23 shots, but that's if you have 3 reserve mods, and that drops down to 17 when you don't use any reserves. In higher end content, elemental resistance mods are far more valuable as they boost your survivability, so reserve mods don't really see much play outside of being equipped but before rallying a flag for extra ammo. Linear fusion rifles on the other hand can hold a minimum of 18 shots, and with reserve mods equipped they can hold a max of 26 shots. But ammo reserves for linear fusion rifles are a bit inconsistent, and become lower if you use a backup mag. Check out this video I made for more info. When you look at the total damage each weapon can put out, you'll see that a kinetic aggressive frame sniper lags far behind linear fusion rifles. Even after the buffs and with 23 rounds, a major mod, and firing line, a kinetic aggressive frame sniper can only put out a total damage of 584,130. But if you can only hold 17 rounds due to needing other mods, the total damage you can put out significantly drops down to 431,748. Currently, a precision frame linear fusion rifle with a major mod and firing line active can put out a total of 548,396 if you only have 20 rounds. So after the buffs to snipers go live, I still believe snipers won't be a viable option. There are only three kinetic aggressive frame snipers in the entire game currently, so majority of the snipers will deal less damage. My suggestion simply would be to give snipers more ammo along with this 15% damage buff. If a kinetic aggressive frame sniper had 26 shots, a major mod, firing line, and this 15% buff, then it could output roughly 660,321 damage, which to me seems fair and snipers might actually see play. They could output similar damage to linears, but would require you to stay on target for longer. This would be the trade-off for using a weapon that's ammo type is supposed to be more abundant. Linears on the other hand are already much easier to hit precision shots with, so I don't believe the change I suggested in this video would make linears pointless to use. Personally, I think we need more unique damage dealing perks for snipers because the only options there are currently is firing line, high impact reserves, vorpal weapon, and high ground. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about the current state of snipers in Destiny 2 and how you guys would fix them in the comments. Subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.